I'm Jake Lofries. Hello, my name is Kylie Rodriguez, and our problem question is, how does adding L-tryptophan to the food source of Uca Pug later affect their sleep and wake-up patterns? We are researching the effect of L-tryptophan on Uca Pug later or fiddler crabs. We have chosen fiddler crabs to work with because their job is to clean the bacteria and salt marshes. This can be very helpful to the environment because lately many ecosystems and homes of underwater animals are being destroyed. L-tryptophan is a substance in foods like turkey, soybean, nuts, and seeds. Consumption of L-tryptophan containing food can make people sleepy. Adding L-tryptophan to fiddler crabs food source could potentially be helpful to the salt marshes if fiddler crabs, like most organisms, function best with a significant amount of sleep. Our hypothesis is that if we put L-tryptophan in the food of fiddler crabs, then the hours of working as well as the amount of hours of sleep will increase because we believe that L-tryptophan makes them sleep better. With more sleep, most animals work more efficiently. Our materials are three plastic containers, sand, Carolina Science fiddler crab food, L-tryptophan powder, three petri dishes, 18 uca pug later fiddler crabs, and water. The steps in our methodology were, step one, set up a fiddler crab tank with play sand, water, and food. Step two, fill one third of the tank with sand and add water in the tank for them and bury food in the sand. Step three, place fiddler crabs gently into the sand in the tanks one by one. Step four, place l the fan to the sand or container for food. Step five, every two to four days, we replace the old food in both groups with new food. Step six, get a time-lapse camera and start the time-lapse. Step seven, log each week and day for times for movement. Step eight, time all the groups to see how long each group takes to clean the salt marsh, sleep, wake up, and work. Step nine, we'd collect the data, write down the times of the group that completed the task. Uca pug later, also known as fiddler crabs, live in salt marshes. Their job is to clean up the bacteria in the salt marshes. They live in big groups to get the job done quicker. They are omnivores, so they sift through the sand to find any algae and plants to eat. Fiddler crabs are very small, at most two inches or smaller. Destruction of fiddler crab colonies by shoreline developments or other human activity also damages vital salt marshes and wetlands. They burrow in holes to sleep and hide from hot weather and high tides. After those time lapse, we watched and found a decrease in work effort as time went on. Say so one through four were fantastic and the work effort improved a lot. The experimental group worked two hours more than the control group. The control group would have worked three hours and 30 minutes daily. Days five through six went down by a lot. The experimental group hours work went down by two hours and five minutes. Day seven went down by a small amount. The group with L-tryptophan slept amount went up by 40 minutes, but their work hours went down by 30 minutes. In our, fir in our first graph, the, the control group and the experimental group were even in the last three days, but in the first four days, the experimental group went up by two hours. Then after the fifth day, it went down more than the control group. If this wouldn't have happened, all of the, all of the um, hours would have been more higher than they should have been in the last three days. Uh, but this didn't happen, and it ended up putting our average really low. So in our average, uh, the experimental average only had 55.5% of the average. But that was because in the last three days, they went, the sleep hours went down, sleep and work hours went down a lot, more than the control group. So it sort of evened out the control average and the experimental average. So if this didn't happen, it would have been at five hours as an average for the experimental. But since the last three days went down a lot, the experimental average was 3.93 hours. And the control group was three hours and 15 minutes, but that only happened because the last three days were very low and that's what made the average uh, to be very similar. Our hypothesis was supported in the experiment's first four days. The experiment group slept for about 6.40 hours and worked for five hours. However, the crabs only worked for two hours and 55 
minutes and slept for around 5 hours and 20 minutes on days 5 through 6. On day 7, the experimental group slept for about 6 hours and worked for around 2 hours and 25 minutes. There was a decrease in the work of sleeping and working on days 5 through 7. One possible reason behind the decrease of work and sleep is that the effect of the l might have worn off. Another possible reason is that the fiddler crab's bodies may have gotten used to the effect of L-tryptophan, making them immune to it. In the future, we'd like to continue with this project and change multiple things. We would change the amount of L-tryptophan as the days continue. In our results, they show that the fiddler crabs have gotten used to the L-tryptophan as the more days pass and had worked a similar amount of hours as the control group by the end of the week. Hopefully, this would change the results of the experiment by increasing the work hours and staying that way all throughout the week. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Have a good day.